This is an example of a typical car operating panel, complete with car push buttons, signage, and a firefighter's operation cabinet. Since the 2004 edition of A17.1, the fire operation cabinet has been required by code. The code also requires that the cabinet door be labeled with the words, Firefighter's Operation. The lettering cannot be less than 10 millimeters high and must be red in color. The code allows the cabinet door to be opened automatically upon arrival at the recall floor. The cabinet door may also be opened by a key. The key must be the same key as used in the Phase 1 and Phase 2 keyed switches. The code requires that the cabinet contain a Call Cancel button, Emergency Stop Switch, Door Open and Close buttons, a visual indicator in the form of a fireman's hat, and a Phase 2 Firefighter's Operation keyed switch. If the elevator has rear doors, a door open and door close button must be provided for the rear opening also. Door open and door close buttons are not required for elevators with manually operated doors. The code requires that the buttons and switches be arranged in the configuration seen here. The code also requires that the operating instructions for Phase 2 emergency in-car operation be posted near or adjacent to the operating switches. Most manufacturers have chosen to provide them on the inside surface of the fire operation cabinet door where they can be readily visible when the panel is open. It should be noted that the cabinet door is not allowed to be closed when the key is in the fire operation keyed switch. The labeling on the fire operation switch is to be in the order shown, off, hold, and on. Since the elevator has already recalled on Phase 1 emergency operation, the fire hat should still be illuminated. The fire hat should stay illuminated until the elevator is returned to normal operation. In order to control the elevator under Phase 2 operation, the keyed switch must be placed in the ON position. Once in the ON position, the other buttons in the fire operation panel will become operative. Note that the stop switch is operative at any time the panel door is open and is not dependent on the position of the fire operation switch. The key cannot be removed when the switch is in the on position. It may only be removed in the hold and off positions. Code also requires that the lettering be not less than 5 millimeters high for the keyed switch. When the key is in the on position, the elevator is under the control of the firefighter. In order for the elevator to travel to another floor, the following sequence of operation must occur. A car call button must be pushed for the desired floor. The door close button must be pushed and maintained until the doors get completely closed. The elevator will then travel to the first available landing for which a car call has been registered. If more than one car call button was pressed, all calls should extinguish when the car makes its first stop. The doors should remain closed until the door open button is pressed. Pressing the door open button will start opening the doors. Releasing the door open button before the doors are fully open will cause the doors to stop and immediately reverse direction and close completely. Maintaining pressure on the door open button will cause the doors to continue to open to their full open position. The middle position on the fire operation keyed switch is the hold position. With the key in this position, all door operation is disabled. The elevator will remain at the landing with the doors open until the switch is turned to the on or off position. This allows firefighters the ability to hold an elevator at a floor while the floor is being surveyed. If the elevator operation switch is turned to the off position while the elevator is away from the recall floor, the doors will close and the elevator will return non-stop to the recall floor and open its doors automatically. The purpose of the call cancel button is to extinguish all car calls registered while the car is in phase 2 operation. This allows firefighters to change their destination without first having to bring the elevator to a landing to cancel calls. If the car is in motion when the call cancel button is pushed, all car calls will be extinguished and the car will stop at the next available landing the doors will remain closed. This button is required to be a minimum of 19 millimeters high. The fire hat visual signal was first illuminated when the elevator was placed on phase one elevator recall. Remember that it will remain illuminated until the elevator is returned to normal service. If the fire hat light begins to illuminate intermittently, 
it is a sign that an elevator machine room or hoistway smoke detector has been activated. This is a signal to the firefighters that the elevator may be unsafe to operate since the fire may have breached these enclosures. The stop switch located in the fire operation panel functions like any other stop switch. It will cause the power to be disconnected from the drive machine and cause the elevator to stop. Unlike the in-car stop switch or the emergency stop switch, this stop switch is not overridden on phase one elevator recall. The elevator will come to an emergency stop when this switch is activated and any registered car calls will extinguish. When the switch is restored to the run position, the elevator is not allowed to move except for leveling until a car call is registered.